welcome back to and this guides in today's video we are going to show you how to combine two images with photo p let's begin now the first thing that i need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in photo p just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go now, combining two images in Photopy involves using layers in blending modes to overlay or merge one image into another. For example, you are going to be um, arranging images side by side, overlap them, or create intricate compositions using layers in blending modes. Now, I'm going to put in one image for now. And again, we have a separate video on how to add an image here in Photopea that you might want to check in our channel but basically um just click on the uh, open and click on open uh, click on file sorry and click on open but i'm gonna drag and drop the file instead now this is gonna be the folder i'm gonna drag and drop the file here all right after that the next thing that we are going to do is simply um the second image will be opened as a new tab in photo p but what i'm gonna do is hover to the file section on the upper left corner and click on open in place all right click on that now when you click on open in place you see when you click the icon here you have two images already um placed here on the uh, photo p editor one is the how to combine two images and one is the how to add images all right now from here the next thing that we need to do is but the thing is when you go to the uh, eye icon here you see the uh, visibility um option you can also drag the file at the top all right or drag it down depending on your preferences you can also adjust the opacity you see but for us to be able to see the changes we're going to replace this specific image with another one all right let me do with that okay so this is going to be the next image all right so before we can combine two images here all right i need you to click on the bottom there's going to be a lot of tools here that, that you can exploit you can add the raster mask you can add a blending option you can add, uh, click a new folder and you can add a new layer but what we're going to do is add the raster mask and what will happen is when you click on the brush tool right here simply click on the uh press b you see that icon press b for brush tool you can simply resize the uh brush um option by uh, pressing the uh semicolon here you see this one now when you click on the uh certain image all right you see it's now falling into places you're now replacing and merging the two images depending on your um goal and uh, aesthetic purposes all right now you see it's a little bit harsh and uh, if you press on alt plus z button you would be going to the uh, you're undoing all the uh, steps that you have taken right now instead you can reduce uh, the flow to let's like, maybe like 20 and the opacity to um, maybe make 50 or maybe uh, like 40 depending on your preferences of course now when you click on the uh, you need to click again the add to raster mask make sure that the color is black you can switch it because if you you notice when you click on the white nothing's happening right you need to click the uh, switch to black instead okay and then when you press again the v you notice that it's not too harsh all right now it's up to you where do you want to use this specific image i'm gonna make it like a um, hundred for now so it's a lot easier for to, us to see it but i think the cool thing is you can adjust everything here just uh, work on it slowly by slowly to avoid any errors or mistake scrub it until you're done until you're happy with it
Now, once you're happy with the results, remember that you can use the move tool or the shortcut V from the toolbar to left to the second layer image over the first layer image as desired. All I'm going to do is press um, Control Shift E to combine all this. You have a blending option. Click on the flatten image to make it one image. You now have blended the two images together, all right? Con uh, press Alt plus Z to undo the option. And again, just click on the uh, images. Uh, press on Control so that you can select both images you, uh, by selecting all the layer in the layers panel, all right? And again, just right click and click on the flatten image so that it would become a single image altogether now when you right click if you want to duplicate the layer you can do so all right so that if you wanted to make any more changes here in photo p right this allows the bottom image to show through the top image to varying degrees and finally when you're happy with it save your combined images again By going to the file, click on save. Now you have more options. You can PST to storage, save PST or the Photoshop document or PSB. Now you can also share it as a PNG via the imgur.com, JPEG, and PSD. All right. So there's a lot that you can choose. For example, JPEG and PNG and whatnot. Now, Photo P supports multiple levels of undo, like earlier, Control plus Z or Command Z, and has a history panel. Just go to the windows. And again, by following these steps, you can easily and effectively combine two images in Photo P to create layered compositions, artistic blends, or custom graphics for a variety of creative projects. Remember that when you uh, save your file, make sure you know the location on your computer to save the file. And once you are satisfied on the how two images are combined, you can further refine the composition by adding text here. Additional layers are applying adjustments such as color correction here on the left side panel of your editing board. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.